So you want to learn how to edit like not Junzala in DaVinci Resolve for free? Well, that's exactly what I'm going to show you today. And let's see that. This here is fake money. I would never work for this stuff. It's good as toilet paper. It's called silver, the best investment in the world today. And I think everybody in the world can afford this today. And I tell people every day, you should buy this. So the yen, the rupee, the dollar, the peso, all fake. So when I was nine or 10 years old, I started finding that out. I said, how come they don't teach us money at school? Well, they don't want you to know it's fake. Now that we're in DaVinci Resolve, first I want to say that all the assets will be available to download down in the description of the video. Okay, so what do we have here? Here we have already rendered composition with some sound effects, music, and some subtitles. So, okay, so here are just the subtitles up here that I added. And you can see it's just all capital letters, the font is Montserrat, semi bold, and we have this in shading here. Let's see. So, just the shadow is en enabled in the shading for all of them, they're all the same. So, now let's jump into Fusion and see what we are working with here. So, let's go to Fusion. Okay, now we are in Fusion. Let's see this Fusion composition. As you can see, it is quite big and complex, but I'm going to explain everything very well so you can recreate it for yourself. So let's start from the beginning, which is here. Let's zoom in. Okay, now let's open to Windows and let's go to the beginning. So here we just have raw video. And then we have this background merged. So it's just black background right here and it just with this blend here in the uh, merge settings and just goes away when this transition happens so it just keep framed here to be on the blend of point zero point five nine one and then just goes to zero back so it just gives this light effect of the darkening because we have a cutout footage of uh, Robert Kiyosaki over it. So it just darkens the background. Okay, now we have this here. Okay, this here is just a dollar and then it's connected to the color corrector, as you can see, just to make it a bit more green. So these are the options here. And it's also connected to the mask of the color correct node. So it only color corrects the area where this dollar is. Okay, so next we have this transform. When we click on our transform here in the settings, you see only the red channel be being active. That's because we are adding that RGB split manually through transforms. So when we put our transform in, you can see this, the red color is here. We do that by adjusting the center values for X and Y a bit. And if you see here, this Y value, when we adjust it, the red just keeps going up. So we want to adjust just a bit so it has that RGB split effect on the final product. So these are the settings here. And then we have a second transform that's just the blue one. So only a blue channel. And these are the settings again same only for the green here these are the settings and then we have a transform last that has these here values and that's just to put it right here behind and so the last transform is adjusting the position in the final composite where it stands then we have a camera shake with these settings and as you can see that's just when we play it so it has a bit of a camera shake and it's moving right behind him. Then we just copied it four times and just readjusted these last transforms where they're positioned in the final composite and just adjusted the screen shakes a bit so they are not exactly the same. These are the settings if you really want to copy them and then all is connected to a multi-merge, which is connected to another merge and just merged over everything here. Then we have a fire overlay. 
so that's just this fire overlay and when you see it it just looks like this so it just overlays on top of everything then we have main green screen so that's this again so merged over everything and then we have delta here to remove our green screen as you can see then we have this merge and as you can see now everything is merged over then we have this color corrector and it just makes everything pop out so when we click on our color corrector these are the settings here let's see these are the shadow settings these are the midtones so i didn't touch midtones at all and these are the highlight sessions so that's that and then we have this black mask as you can see so that's just on a black background like this and it's and then we have this background it's just a black black background as you can see with the black mask on it so it only shows the bottom part like right here if you want to see the exact settings of the mask here it is and when we merge everything over the bottom part is just blacked out okay next what do we have we have two texts so we have text one this is the text and the font is special elite you can download this font from google fonts it's free and it's a free like this typewriter font so here we have a glow for it as you can see these are the settings next text we have this fake again special elite regular just a red color then again the glow here it is and it just merged over everything so money is and then fake like this then we have this line with this transform so we just went down on the y value nothing crazy then we have this merged over everything so it stays like this if we really wanted to copy the exactly like Najok Zala said it we can actually add a rectangle mask down below and invert it and then just slide it over the line so it looks like the line is let's see let, I, I'll just show you so we add a rectangle we get this mask here then we get it down and then to the left like this and then we can go somewhere around here where okay let's go here and just keep in the center go some like this to frame 20 keep from it again and then go to the last frame and just adjust our mask to here and now we have something like this it just writes this line on and it's not stationary from the beginning okay then what do we have here we have a text scramble effect so this is it it's his name so robert kiyosaki and as you can see it typewrites right there when we play it this is the font and here we have a modifier so these are the letters that the scramble effect will use and substitute characters here so how do we get this text scramble effect in you actually go to effects you go to templates and then just you type in scramble modifier and it's this one okay so it has a rectangle mask that just like the one i just showed you it just goes over everything so it goes up from left to right and just reveals this text okay then let's go here all of this is just merged over a uh, background that is solid black so when we merge it over that's how it looks okay then we have again a main clip and a green screen merged over everything so frame 221 then we have this main clip here i just did it like this i merged everything over again and just adjusted the global in and out points and the trim points so we just have a main clip like this we have again a green screen with the delta to care to remove the green screen we have everything again here then everything is again color corrected the same as before and then it just transformed so it zooms in 
So on frame 222, you have it size key framed at one, and then it grows to 125 on frame 240, and then it's just key framed again to go back. But that's when it disappears, so it doesn't matter. Okay, and because we want it to be behind, like when this happens, and hold this section, we want it to be behind. We have to put it right here, but then we have this section. So it's just a green background like this. Here you can see what the code is if you want to copy it. Then we have this fast, fast noise that's just merged over. So something like this, as you can see, it's just merged over and it adds like this foggy effect to everything. Then again, it just merged over. Then we have a vignette. These are the vignette settings that vignette goes to the transform and here we have this transform of this whole green background going down so on frame 123 it's at this value and it's keyframed then it goes down slowly and then it goes all the way down on frame 134 okay so then we have this hand behind it let's see it so this hand is just here Okay, let's see how that that is made. It's just PNG cut out of hand. Then we have a bit of a color corrector that just saturation brought all the way down. Then we have a transform to make it bigger. Then we have this effect called this effect scaliness. These are the settings if you want to copy them with this color right here. Then we have this camera shake. These are settings for the camera shake. So just the hand has a bit of a movement like up and down, up and down. Okay, then it's merged over everything. Here we have this silver coin then merged and just a bit color corrected, but because it's kind of white, it doesn't really matter. This color corrector, I couldn't do much there. Then we have a DVE node, as you can see. Those are the settings before it begins. As you can see, it starts from frame 135 right here, and then it just goes on 133. It's keyframed with the, these exact keyframes. So center X and Y is keyframe and rotation X, Y, and Z is keyframe of these values. Then we go to frame 177 and it just keyframed at those values. And if we see what's actually happening, it just starts from down here and it goes to the base position okay then again has us some camera shake let's see this camera shake so just a bit nothing much it just adds a bit of a movement and that's about it then we have this text that is silver let's go to it's special elite again it's regular these are the settings right here in the shading tab just black shadow is enabled and this is the black shadow okay let's see what this text actually does as you can see it has a follower modifier on it so let's see how that works okay so delay is 1.6 here and these are the settings for this and this is the transform we can go to the shading tab this is where the mo most of the magic happens so opacity is keyframed on frame 152 all the way to zero then on frame 156 is all the way to one so we can see what's actually happening here as you can see okay so when we go over it has this movement because it's delayed one by 1.6 so let's see here this is the position the first keyframe of the position is right here and it's keyframed on offset of y minus 166 and then last keyframe is keyframed at frame 168 and it has the y value of 0 0.081 and then we just have this softness also keyframed so let's go to first the softness from 4x and y is at 30 for both at frame 151 and then on frame 
167 it's keyframed on 0 for both and that's this like foggy effect that we have here that's this effect that we have here so it's just really soft and it just comes into vision as it should okay that's it for the text then we have this glow and the text these are the settings for the glow and then it just merged over everything with the silver coin together like this and then just merged over everything here let's see this merge so yeah we have on this merge we have some keyframes on frame 220 we have this keyframe y at this value and then on the frame 238 we have it keyframed on this value so it just goes down and the hand is also keyframed to go up from frame 220 to frame 237 these are the values so it goes from these values to these values here so it just splits open like this as you can see and that's why this main clip and everything was merged way before all of this because it needed to be behind these this green background this hand and be behind this silver coin so that's why it's before so this will be all for part one see you all in the part two